Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions. Hello, I'm Lori Steiner. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, AARP in Ohio is very active. We'll tell you what they're up to. Then, can't beat the heat? Then enjoy it with a cool smile. Are you older with low income? We'll preview the PACE program, which offers assistance in aging at home. Plus, you could be a lifesaver. We'll spell out the importance of learning CPR. And your spouse's past. Is your social security safe from their enduring expenses? We're on the case. It's time to get geoing, so pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for golden opportunities. We know AARP fights for the rights of older adults on a daily basis, but they also work to make our lives more enjoyable. Linda Fegler has just the ticket to save you money at a premier downtown destination. Linda is a volunteer for ARP Ohio. So welcome back to the Thank show. You. It's good to be here. Good to see you. Yeah. And AARP Ohio has been very busy, right? <laughs> we have been. Actually, we always are. <laughs> um, as you know, AARP wants to empower people 50 plus to enjoy the way they live and work today. And many of your viewers are probably already familiar with our mission of social change and advocacy on issues such as financial resilience, health security, and personal fulfillment. And on past Golden Opportunity shows, we talked about our work here in Ohio with utilities and that helped save Ohioans billions in unfair surcharges. And of course, our work continues to make sure that Ohioans and all Americans are protected from unfair health care costs and pre-existing conditions or age. Right. Big issues coming up yes, now. Yes, yes. But Ohio seniors do appreciate the work that you guys yes, do. Yes, they do. Yes, but they do. today you're actually here with an example of how ARP wants to make life more enjoyable and more affordable, correct? Yes, yes. What I want to share today is how here in Cleveland, AARP is bringing you more opportunities connect, to connect with your community and people like you without spending more than you have to. <laughs> Always, yes. <laughs> yes, we are very excited to announce our partnership with Playhouse Square that brings a discount to AARP members for every performance and event at Playhouse Square until the end of 2017. Wow, every single performance That's and event? That's right. That's right, through the end of the year. Holy cow, we want more information. <laughs> well, the discount is the the same for each event as it's based on where the seat location is in each theater. Plus, as AARP members, they get not only special pricing, there are pre-sale options for events that can be found on our special webpage for AARP members. Go to www.playhousesquare.org forward slash CEO and enter the partner code PHS to access the ticket purchase site. And you don't have to have web access to take advantage of this. You can also call 216-640-8602 and speak to Hannah to purchase your tickets. And of course, our AARP Ohio site will have more info and links to this and other events too. And it's such a great venue to partner with. Oh, it is. Lori, we are so fortunate here in Cleveland to have Playhouse Square. It's one of the world's finest entertainment destinations, and it's the second largest performing arts center in the country outside of New York City. And, you know, best of all, the 10 venues and theaters utilize the arts as a catalyst for economic development and improve quality of life for our entire region. When you see a show at Playhouse Square, you're really not only investing in yourself, you're investing in our community, and that's what really what we're all about here at AARP, connecting you to your community in new and meaningful ways. And there's so many options to choose from. Everybody's bound to find something that they want Oh, absolutely. See. This is a great opportunity for AARP members to see a diverse array of performances, really, that satisfy any taste from the best of Broadway, comedy, concerts, dance, family shows, plays, opera, the range is broad. And of course, highlights this summer include the summer movie series, Motown the Musical is coming live, and of course, the Broadway tour of Wicked is coming in November. Ooh, I've seen that, it's great. That's a great, worth things two, three, four times. Oh, yeah. yes. absolutely so. So, since this is such a big deal, let's see the website <laughs> and our phone do number this. again. Right. <laughs> Go to playhousesquare.org forward slash CEO, enter the PHS code, or call 216-640-8602. And of course, to always be in the know, connect with us on our regular website or phone number, which you'll show in just a minute, as well as on Facebook and Twitter. All right, as always, we appreciate Thank you coming you. in. Thank you so much. Your health, your entertainment, your life. 
AARP is working to make all of it the best it can be. And you got to make sure you don't miss any of their efforts. So you need to use the information that's coming up next for more info. My thanks to Linda for such great entertainment information. Thank you, Lori. For more information, call AARP Ohio at 866-389-5653 or log on to www.aarp.org slash Ohio. Next, a sunny smile. But first, car fanatics may find this fact hard to believe. But there is a company that sells more cars than Ford, Chrysler, Chevrolet, and Buick combined. Can you name the brand that beats all of the others? We won't toy with you much longer. We'll be right back with the answer. Right now, the trusted experts of University Hospital Seidman Cancer Center and the most advanced cancer-fighting technologies are in 17 community locations. That's leading-edge care, where you're most comfortable. That's UH Seidman Cancer Center. Right now, proton therapy, a revolutionary treatment for many types of cancer, is available for the first time in Ohio and only at University Hospital Seidman Cancer Center. That's the future of cancer care. That's UH Seidman Cancer Center. With over 12,000 individual model lines and production exceeding 3 billion, Matchbox Cars wins the race of the highest selling car company. Summer is wedding season, and this summer, Dennis Steve Marsh is celebrating a wedding that took place 40 years ago, his own. Today, he's here to share how he's helped make many spouses smile over the four decades he's been married. So welcome and, and congratulations. It's 40 years this Friday, correct? 40 years, uh, actually, this, uh, this, I have to think Friday or Sunday. Um, but uh, when I went to dental school, I met my wife, Wendy, in Columbus at The Ohio State University. She had a beautiful smile that attracted me to her. Um, and uh, we've been together ever since I got married. We, there's our there wedding day, are. actually. You look like a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you said, 40 years changed things a lot. Uh, but that's Wendy and myself. We got mm -hmm. married. The next month, uh, we went into the Air Force for a re three years, a residency in, in Austin, Texas. And Wendy's still working with me here 40 years later. Wow. So what a nice way to celebrate our wedding anniversary as well as the smiles that we've provided for people. Absolutely. And you guys are still smiling, but some of your married patients needed a little help with that, didn't they? Yes, they did. And sometimes it's before the wedding, sometimes it's years later. But in any case, we're there to help them. And with the techniques and materials changes, changing, we can do a lot of things. Okay. So this is one of my favorite couples. And they came to me, they were both in their 60s, about where I am now. Uh, and this is the wife and she came in and she said all these years her teeth had shifted quite a bit. That happens to all of us as we get older, Lori, unless we wear retainers. And so she had talked about doing braces. She didn't want to go into braces and her teeth were worn. And uh, so we did those with porcelain veneers, Lori. That was just reshaping some gum contouring on the bottom. And we did porcelain veneers on the bottom and then on the top. And she loved it so much, and her husband watched her go through it, and then he said, you know what, it's my turn, I think I'll come in. Mm -hmm. And so he came in. Um, the, uh, this patient is another patient who came to me. Uh, he's actually very big in business, and he had a tooth that was, went in and out. Um, it was, uh, we call it a flipper. Mm -hmm. It was very unsatisfactory, and it was the same sort of thing. They had five kids, they took care of their kids. Of course. His wife insisted that he come in. We actually close the space, Lori, with a permanent porcelain bridge. Doesn't have to be removed. It looks beautiful to replace the missing tooth. And then we did porcelain veneers on the others. Now on the lowers, initially what we did is just reshaped them. You can't see it in the photo. And then we bleached them. We got them much whiter. Uh, and so we had a very nice match. And after he was done, he insisted that she come in. <laughs> and this is her. Uh, is this is her, this is she. In any case, she came in. Uh, on the lower, we reshaped the teeth, and you can see, Lori, there's no braces involved there, just some reshaping and bonding. Um, and in the upper mouth, you can see that those teeth were very ill-proportioned. So when I say gum contouring, we used a laser to raise the tissue. She had very healthy tissue, which made it much easier. And then went across and did eight porcelain veneers to give her that smile. Uh, and she had been through a lot of health problems, incidentally, Lori. And this was sort of his gift to her, which made it all the more gratifying for him and for us. 
Um, this is a fairly simple case, Lori, just lower anteriors were irregular. We went in and we reshaped the lower teeth, we kept them as they were, and, and changed the color and changed the shape a little bit on those upper teeth, just to give them a brightness, a little bit more flair. But sometimes we can do it without doing all new work. Sometimes, again, just a lot of reshaping can make a big, big difference really in someone's does. smile. And lastly, uh, this is a patient, um, one of my favorite patients, uh, came in and you can see how bad his teeth were. Same sort of thing in his 60s and his wife said, it's your turn to come in. She had had her teeth done previously. He had lost one or two teeth and with all these new porcelains that we talked about on a previous show, we were able to give him this wonderful smile. He had had a partial that went in and out. Now it's all permanent. He and I became good friends. We even played a round of golf together. Oh boy. And he, and he smiled throughout, which made me very happy, very proud. Uh, and he said it was one of the best decisions he's ever made in his, in his life. Oh, that's something you always want to hear. Right, just like my wedding to, and uh, marriage to Wendy. All right. Congratulations, in fact, to Steve and Wendy on 40 years of a happy marriage. And congratulations to the many couples he's helped keep smiling throughout that time. May you all continue smiling as you live happily ever after. See what Dr. Stephen Marsh can do for your smile by calling 440-461-1003 or visit www.clevelandsmiles.com. Next, health, help at home. Looking for places to go, things to do? Welcome to our community calendar. Chop it, steam it, bake it, fry it. However you like zucchini, you will find it at the sixth annual Zucchini Festival. July 29th and 30th are the dates and Chardon Square is the place for a celebration of all things zucchini, along with arts, crafts, and festival treats. To chow down on more details, call 440-285-1842. It's a model of care that can be traced back to the early 1970s when the Chinatown North Beach community of San Francisco saw the pressing long-term care needs of families whose elders had immigrated from Italy, China, and the Philippines. Since then, the idea has evolved into the PACE program, or Programs of All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly. Kim Reynolds is here to share how this program is in effect in our area. Kim is the Business Development Director for McGregor Pace, so welcome to the show. Thank you, glad to be here. Sounds like a very important program for the elderly, so how does it work? Our program is designed to provide community-based care for people who would otherwise be in a nursing home. It's designed to help not just the individual, but the caregiver and the family to provide them with some support and relief that so many of them need. We use an interdisciplinary team headed by an MD to provide the services that people need in their home. We provide everything from the doctors to the physical therapy, transportation to medical appointments. It is truly an all-encompassing program. All right, so who in the community actually provides the care? The care is provided in the home, but there are, we also have three home uh, daycare centers, day centers here in town. The primary one is located on Emory Road in, uh, in Warrensville Heights. We also have one at Langston Hughes Library, which is at 79th and Quincy, and on the west side in the old Deaconess Hospital. Mm -hmm. where, and that one is actually very interesting because that one also provides bilingual services. Oh, helpful in a lot of communities. Who's eligible to participate? The criteria are pretty simple. You need to be over 55 years old. You need to live in Cuyahoga County. You must qualify for nursing home level of care, which is assistance in three or more areas of, uh, of uh, daily living. And we need you to be able to live safely in the community. The majority of our people are Medicare and Medicaid eligible, but we are available to people who have Medicare only, Medicaid only, or private pay. Okay. So, so everybody should at least take a look at the program. Um, what are the, some of the specific types of care available under the PACE program? As I mentioned, we do start the program with a, farm, a uh, physician who manages the care team. We have physical therapy, occupational therapy, day centers for socialization so people can get out of their homes. We provide home care assistance. We provide all necessary pharmacy. 
We provide social services and as well as the specialty care, and that again is coordinated by the primary doctor. And we provide transportation to the day centers as well as to all doctor's appointments that people have. All right, so wow, this is great. <laughs> How ma um, many older adults do want to age in place? They want to stay at home. They don't want to end up in assisted living or in the nursing home or something like that. And PACE can do that, plus it's more cost effective, right? Definitely more cost effective. But let's start from the fact most of us don't want to go to a nursing home. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's pretty simple. And the PACE model is really designed and based on the idea that with a coordinated care, we can provide better services, we can allow people to stay healthier, they can stay in their homes longer, and they can be serviced by a team who manages the whole picture. We encourage independence, and we also know that this provides better wellness and the family support that people need to stay there. We've helped thousands of elder adults stay in their home and be with their family for far longer than many of them expected. Which is a great community service. <laughs> Definitely. The PACE program may be decades old, but it answers needs that are always present. To find out more, use the information that's coming up next. My thanks to Kim Reynolds for helping us keep pace with this important option for older adults. Find out more by calling McGregor Pace at 216-791-3580 or click to www.mcgregorpace.org. Next, a lesson in saving lives. It's time to get up and go an exercise segment on Golden Opportunities. Hello everybody, it's Mike Carbon from Breakout Fitness and we're here today to show you how to do a oblique twist which is gonna help us with our obliques, more importantly that love handle area. You ready to go? I gotta get rid of these. Little All guys. right, we can do it, here we go. We're gonna start seated. We want our legs bent at about a 45 degree angle and your feet flat on the floor as much as they can be. Make sure we maintain good posture. We're simply gonna overlap our hands here and we're gonna to try to touch the ground to the left and then we're gonna bring them across and try to touch the ground to the right, okay? We're looking for 12 to 15 repetitions on this one. And remember, the movement's actually gonna be in the core, in the trunk, and not in the shoulders. How you feeling? Oh, I can feel those love handles good, leaving good. now. Good, good. All right, real quick, you can add a little bit of resistance on this one to make it a little more challenging. Just go ahead, grab your weights at home, and perform the exact same exercise with the exact same movement. All right, 12 to 15, two to three sets, and now it's your turn to get up and go. For your copy of the exercise booklet, send $1 for postage to Golden Opportunities, 6105 Parkland Boulevard, Suite 140, Mayfield Heights, Ohio, 44124. You have the ability to help save lives, and it's easier than you think. The question is, will you do it? Dr. Monique Robinson has joined us in the UH Broadcast Center to help you say yes. Dr. Robinson is a cardiologist in advanced heart failure and transplantation at the Harrington Heart and Vascular Institute at University Hospital. So welcome to our show. Thank you. So you are a cardiologist mm -hmm. telling us non-medical <laughs> doctors that we can save a life, how? You can and you absolutely should. So cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, it's a life-saving intervention in the case of cardiac arrest. Maybe you've learned it in the past, maybe you know someone who does, but it's a real way for us, for, for everyone, to make an impact on a person's survival who has cardiac arrest. All right, so yeah. this is for, as you said, cardiac arrest, so tell Absolutely. us what does that mean? So cardiac arrest occurs when the heart's electrical activity is suddenly arrested. So there'll be abnormal rhythms that are not compatible with life, as we like to say in medical parlance. So essentially, ventricular fibrillation is one of the most common rhythms, and it arrests the heart's rhythm, and unless someone's there to restart the heart, death unfortunately can ensue. And that's why us, all of us in the community, physician and non-physician, should know CPR. Okay, and if you start it the sooner the better, right? Absolutely. The statistics say that that's true. Absolutely. So in the U.S. every year, approximately 360,000 people will die of a cardiac arrest, um, will have a cardiac arrest rather, and one in 10 of those people will survive. If we delay cardiac arrest, those are the stats we've got, but bystander CPR can double or even triple your chances of survival. So by having your neighbor, your friend, and the person in the house of worship with you start that intervention, the chances of survival are so much better. 
Okay. And that's well, very powerful stuff. Doesn't the EMS person do CPR when they yep, get there? They absolutely do when they get there. But even in the best case scenario, they may take up to 10 minutes to get to the scene. Meanwhile, you know, we could have been starting life saving therapy way ahead of that. Okay, and mm -hmm. doubling or tripling their chances. So. Absolutely. Now, while one person can perform CPR, you say that trying to help some, save somebody's life is more of a team approach. Absolutely. How is that true? So cooperation is always going to be better. And where there are two or more trained people, it limits the degree of fatigue for you know our rescuers. CPR is hard work, but if you've got people who can swap out, you've got better chance for good, effective cardiac compressions, good rescue breaths, and a better outcome for the victim. All right. So if you've got a buddy, yeah. Do it together. Buddy it up. Buddy yeah. It so up. we got to get involved. We got to bring yes. our friends and we got to take a class. You do. So you don't even have to have an MD. I'm taking myself out of every equation here. <laughs> but you don't even have to have a doctor. So the American Heart Association has launched a wonderful website. They've got CPR classes you can do without a physician, 20 minute courses, their classroom courses. Go to the website, aha.org, get more information and get involved. Okay, and there's also, that's the family and friends. How about the CPR Anytime course? Yep, so that's the one you kind of do solo. You go online 20 minutes and you can at least learn a little bit about it. How do I give a chest compression? How would I give a rescue breath? What's an AED? What does that do? An automatic electrical defibrillator. How can I shock someone back essentially to life? So those are the things we can learn. So get information, right? And get involved. All right. Yeah. As Dr. Robinson pointed out, we can all be lifesavers. Follow her advice and get trained in CPR and AED now, and encourage others to join you. My thanks to Dr. Robinson for joining us today. Thank you. Learn more by calling the Center for Lifelong Health at University Hospitals at 1-844-312-LIFE. That's 5433. Or visit their website www.uhhospitals.org slash lifelong health. Next, a cautionary case. Hilltop Village Apartments is retirement living at its best. Residents enjoy a wide variety of activities and living services with all large first floor apartments, private screened in patios with beautiful park views, daily dining room meals, free laundry facilities, 24-hour staff, and so much more. Enjoy safe, comfortable independence at a very affordable price. Call today for a tour and learn how you can get your first month's rent free. Hilltop Village Apartments, retirement living at its best. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau reported that nearly 40% of federal student loan borrow borrowers are 65 or older and they're in default. When that happens, you may find that the government takes some of your social security check to help pay down the loan. Is there a way to stop that? My law partner, Mike Solomon, is here with some options. So welcome to the show again. Right. <laughs> now, we all know college is expensive. And even though there are many federal student loan programs available, sometimes the parent has to guarantee the loan. Or maybe it's a parent taking not to go back to school or their spouse to go back to school. So the loans are pretty much impossible to walk away from. So what options are there? Well, so if you've defaulted on your own loan or maybe you've guaranteed, as you said, your child or your spouse, uh, Social Security can take up to 15% of your Social Security um, uh, benefit to repay that loan. So, and, and it can't go less than $750, but it's still a big chunk. And the trouble is, the people they're grabbing this money from are the people who can at least afford it. They probably can't, it's hard to get by on what they're making already from Social Security. They're taking a little bit from it. Number two, the amount is so small that they're taking out, it, it probably never even covers the interest. The loan will never disappear. So what do you do if you're in this situation? Well, you know, first of all, hopefully, the, the ch let's say it's the child's loan you've guaranteed, they're earning enough money to pay the debt themselves. And, and most of the time that happens, but some, sometimes it doesn't happen. Then you have to take some other steps to try to get solve the problem. Okay, so let's go through a few of them. Well, number one, if you're on Social Security disability, then you can have that, that guarantee or that loan wiped off. Now you have to watch out because if that happens, you could have income tax as a result of the, of the discharge of the debt. <laughs> There's always something. So what's the second solution? The second one, it, many people are familiar with this, is that if the child, let's say, whose loan you guaranteed, is not making enough money, they can have, guarantee, they can have graduated payments or flexible payments, reduces the monthly payment, so that if you're making the actual payment as the parent, you'll get your child to qualify for that. It'll make it a lot easier for you. The other thing is, 
Sometimes you qualify under these programs that if it takes 25 years, after 25 years, what's ever left is wiped off. Oh, okay. Takes a while, but that sounds good. How about a third solution? Now, this one's tougher. It's bankruptcy. So it's, many people thought you can't declare bankruptcy on these, but you can, but you have to show undue hardship and that you've made a good faith attempt to, to pay back this loan. Okay, and is there a fourth solution? Well, there is a fourth one. If the student or, or you know, if, it's a, if you've guaranteed a student's loan again, Certain jobs uh, the government want, wants to encourage people to take, and so they can qualify for forgiveness of their loan if they take those jobs. But like public service kind of thing? That's right. So, but the bigger issue is that, you know, before you guarantee the loan, you know, try to figure out whether the student's ever going to be able to make the payments. Not every, you know, before you spend $160,000 on a college education, you want to make a decision whether that will generate a job or a job that will produce enough income to pay off the <laughs> loan. So think about those issues before you willingly guarantee that loan. Yeah. These days it's getting a little tougher to yeah. find those jobs. I know that firsthand yeah. from college okay. students. <laughs> but good information. Guaranteeing college loans might be necessary, but if you find it causing the government to garnish some of your Social Security check, check into some of the ways to reduce the burden. If you need more help or information, give Mike a call. His number is next. Call Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization or log on to www.ssnplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. On next week's show, a free club with healthy benefits. We'll preview the perks and say how to sign up. We'll help you choose how to be charitable while you're still looking after your loved ones. And we'll school you on how to be a lifelong learner. Nothing wrong with that. But until then, please, Remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website, www.goldenopportunities.tv. Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv. We'd love to hear from you. Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.